Hi, my name is Brent Dean. I'm a product engineer for our Persian pressurization product line. In this video, I'm going to give a brief tutorial on how to wire our Z and Type PZ fully automatic 5500 perch system. So before we get to wiring our unit, I wanted to go over this line diagram with you. Um, this is for our external mount um, model. If you have an internal mount model, the only thing uh, different would be that the all the terminals are just switched over. But for this example, we're going to do an external mount. If you notice, there's a couple different L's on this line diagram and a couple different ends. All of the ends are connected via a bus and all of the L's are connected via a bus. So if I provide power to one of the L's, in turn, all the other L's are energized. So if we start over here, we have our K1 contact. This is our enclosure power contact. You provide power to one side. Once this contact closes, you'll, be, you'll provide power to your enclosure. Then we have our um, K2 contact. We have our common, normally open and normally closed. This can be used for an alarm contact or if you want to send a signal, if um, you can reach a certain temperature, a certain pressure, you can do that as well with this contact. Our SV1 um, or our solenoid valve, there are two black wires. One black wire will go to the SV1, another wire will go to um, any end or any neutral that you would want. The polarity doesn't matter on the wires. Then once we go to our bottom, again, we just have our power and our neutral contacts. Over on this side, you'll see a T1 and a T2. These are for uh, PT100s. They'll work with any intrinsically safe PT100. And then the bypass terminals are for an external bypass switch um, if you would want to utilize that feature. So now let's get to wiring our um, actual uh, control unit. Okay, so here's our unit. As you can see, I already have two wires connected, the black, which is going into our hot, and then the white going into the neutral. Now, on the line diagram that I showed you, again, all of the L or the um, hot terminals are connected on a bus. Now all of those are hot since we are providing power to the one, um, the one L terminal. And neutral, again, those are also all connected by a bus. So now I just connected um, the cabling going to our enclosure. The K1 is a normally open contact. There are two K1 terminals, one on the top and one on the bottom. You can connect to whatever one you would like. Once your purging cycle completes, the contact between these will close, providing power to your enclosure. So now I just connected, um, you can see these two black wires. These are going to our solenoid. Um, on our solenoids, there are three wires. There's two blacks and a green. The green is ground. The blacks, you can wire either one into the SV terminal and one into any of the N or the neutral terminals. Uh, the polarity on the, on the wires um, is independent. Okay, so I just wired up our alarm contact. Um, you have a normally open, common, and normally closed contact. I connected to our um, normally open contact and then our neutral um, down at the bottom. Again, I could connect it to any end and you can wire it however you want, but uh, that's just the, the neutral terminal that I chose to connect to. Now, um, if you lose pressure um, during, during your pressurization phase, what this will do is if these alarm, uh, normally open alarm contact will close energizing your alarm. Okay, so now what I've just done is I added these two red jumper wires. All I was doing was um, we have an L terminal on the bottom. I was providing power from this L terminal up to our alarm common. So now I have our alarm energized. And I also provide, jumped the enclosure power over to this L terminal, which now I can now provide power to our enclosure. Another way to do this connection, you can bring in um, a different power source if you don't want a jumper to the power that you're providing to the unit, then you would just wire in whatever power that's coming in um, to, to, that you want to go to your system, you would wire to the K1 terminal. Once you go through your purging cycle, the, the K1 contacts close, providing that power to your enclosure.